All right, what's going on people? Back with another video. And today I'm gonna to hit you guys with something a little bit different than normal, more on the apparel side of things. I figured I'd show you some looks that I'm gonna be rocking this spring, give you guys an idea of more of my personal style. Not all this stuff is brand new, it's just stuff I have in my wardrobe that I just tend to break out around this time of year. Springtime in New England is a little bit unpredictable. It can snow in the morning and be warm and sunny in the afternoon, which is pretty crazy, but it also lets you wear a wide variety of things. So I'm gonna start with what I'm rocking right now. I have a black zip-up hoodie from Top Man with some gray and maroon accents. It's not too thick, it's really nice. I have some black and herringbone uh, Kith Mercer pants. The cuffs down at the bottom are black some Jordan 7s in that Bordeaux colorway, and then a Pirates fitted hat. So I like this stuff a lot. Here's a quick look at the shoe because that is what's most important. And let me show you guys the second look. All right, next up we have something really casual. I would rock this for the day if I was just gonna be running some errands. I'm gonna start with the hoodie. It's a Heather Gray pullover. And surprisingly, it's from The Gap. I really don't have a lot of stuff from The Gap. Their stuff tends to not fit me well, and the quality is always lackluster. It shrinks, it fades, all that stuff. But this hoodie is something different. It's called the Lived In Hoodie. It is slim fitting. The sleeves are long, it's got a nice baggy hoodie. There isn't any fleece on the inside. It's French terry. It's just really a perfect hoodie for me. I grabbed it in the Navy as well. It was like 45 bucks, and then they had 40% off the entire store. They always have these crazy sales. And I got it for like 26 or 27 bucks. Absolute steal. I probably should have grabbed another one, but it's just a really nice hoodie. I'm surprised it was at the Gap. So next we have just a long white tee and then some made and crafted Levi's denim. It's kind of a higher quality denim than what you see from Levi's. A lot of the stuff that they have in Macy's or the lower price stuff at the outlet uh, isn't that great of quality. The made and crafted stuff is really nice. It has a very cool tapered fit and a nice wash thin at the bottom. And then I have some bread ones on. Really like that shoe. You can wear it pretty much with anything. And then a black beanie. So here's a quick look at the breads and let's move on to the next outfit. All right, next up, you better believe having a nice rain jacket in New England is a must. I have mine from Sperry Topsider. It's a lightweight shell with a bunch of cool details and features on it. All of the zippers are covered over with a wax material so that they don't rust out. There are drawstring adjustments at the bottom of the jacket as well as around the hood that you can tighten up as much as you want. A bunch of pockets and like I said, it's lightweight so you don't sweat at all. Underneath that, I have a navy button-up from Hollensteins, just plain and simple. Got my braids fitted on, one of my favorite hats, it goes with everything I have. And then I have these charcoal gray slim fit chinos from Ben Sherman. Ben Sherman is really hit or miss for me, but when I find something I like from them, I always grab it because it tends to fit me perfectly. And then down bottom, I have something from Sperry in a collaboration with Concepts on their Bahama boot, which is amazing. Literally one of my favorite Sperry shoes. Just a crazy, crazy boat shoe. Concepts on the tongue. All right, next fit. All right, so next up, I have something that I would wear if I was gonna be in Boston for the day, just grabbing lunch or dinner, and I wanted to rock something clean with a little bit of an edge to it. I'll start with this vest. I got it from Saks. It's in a dark tan color, and it's made of a lightweight nylon. The thing is money. I wear it all the time. It has this cool stitching pattern going up it to give it somewhat of a ribbed look. Underneath that, I have a light blue denim button-up from Ralph Lauren. Up top, I have a Nationals fitted in that navy red and white color. And then for jeans, I have something from AG, their prestige denim with a light wash to it. And then down bottom, I have some Balenciaga Coats monochrome sneakers that are straight up fire starters. Money, next. All right, so next up, I have something that I would most likely wear to a club or a bar, just a predominantly black look. Not for everyone, I'm well aware. This jacket is from Top Man, just a simple black fleece with a silver zipper, plain black t-shirt, Brooklyn Nets snapback with a gray brim, some black Hollensteins cuffed chinos, some Jordan 1 mids down bottom, a mandatory Heineken, and let's move on to the next outfit. Boom. 
All right, so next up I have something super casual and really easy to wear. You could just toss this on and go. It's also very comfortable. One of the most comfortable shirts I've worn in this video so far. I'll start with it. It's from Diesel. It's just a simple button up, but it's made of a lightweight cotton. You can almost see through it at some points of the shirt. So it's really breathable. And then it has this cool checkered pattern on it in a navy and a white. Underneath that I have a plain white t-shirt. Cleveland Indians hat, and then I have some chinos from Saks in that dark tan color, similar to the vest I showed earlier. Some New Balance 1600s on in that red, white, and gray color. Now because this button up is so light, and like I said, it can get cold really easily around here, I'd probably rock this Theory zip up hoodie with it. Simple, nothing to it. And then this gray polo beanie, and I'd be good to go. I'm also rocking a gold Nixon watch. And here's a look at the 1600s, next. All right, so finishing things off, I just have this cool look, one I really like. Chances are if you bumped into me on the streets this spring, I'd be wearing something similar to this. I'll start with the jacket, it's from Ben Sherman. It's in a dark blue and it fits me perfectly. I really wish I had it in like five different colors, I'd be wearing it all the time. It's the perfect thickness, there's a hood stuffed in around the collar, but it's not too bulky, it's, it's just done right, I really like this jacket a lot. Like I said, Ben Sherman has a couple cool things and when I find something from them I like, I always pick it up. Underneath that I have this white tee, really simple and basic, but it's not 100% cotton, there's a little bit of spandex material in there, so it doesn't shrink up and it also stays a bright white. So this is my favorite undershirt. Then I have that brave fitted again. I have more Hollenstein's cuffed chinos in a dark tan color. They make some great cuffed chinos for an affordable price. You guys see them in my videos all the time. I'm a big fan of those. And then I have some New Balance 998s, the Concepts collab, the C Notes. Huge fan of them. They're like the best New Balance that I have. I will rock these things forever. I wish I had two pairs. So I hope you guys like this style of video. I know it's something a little bit different for me. And to be honest with you, I don't know everything there is to know about fashion, apparel, any of that stuff at all. Chances are I messed up a lot in this video. I don't really care. I just kind of want to let you guys know what my style is like and what I prefer to rock. Chances are you guys watch a bunch of other people on YouTube when it comes to apparel. There's some great people out there like Always Fresh Apparel, We Are The Trend, Very Rare Magazine. I always check out their videos and catch tips from them. So be sure to check out those guys if you haven't already. If you like this video from me, be sure to let me know in the comment section. Hit the thumbs up button if you did. Uh, if you want to hit me up on Twitter or Instagram, I'm at Eddie Wynn Kicks. A lot of people are always wondering if I'm on there or not. I say it at the end of all my videos, and it's also in the description. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.